This is a shoe for running fast. I've set PBs in the 5K, seven mile, and the marathon in this shoe. The Metaspeed Sky Plus has treated me extremely well, and it's time to talk about it after 100 miles. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kofuzi and today I want to talk to you guys about the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus after 100 miles. But before I give you my thoughts on this shoe and how it's held up over time, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that was sent to me by ASICS for the purpose of review. However, they're not paying me to make this video or to use the shoe and they're not going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So. With that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the ASICS Metaspeed Sky Plus after 100 miles. And for all my 100 mile update reviews, the two categories of topics I wanna cover is how I've been using the shoe in case that's changed from my initial impressions until now and how it's been holding up in terms of the way I've actually been using the shoe. First, let's talk about how I've been using it. I've been using this as a race shoe. It is marketed as a top tier super shoe and it definitely fits that description. The foam in this shoe is ASICS FF Turbo, which is a nylon based midsole foam, which is ASICS Premier Racing Foam. It gives me very quick compression and decompression and so it's a very high bounce shoe, but it also can absorb the impact from the roads and it has proven itself again and again as a shoe that I can reliably reach for on race day to take me not only as fast as I wanna go, but enables me to have enough protection from the roads so I can make it the full distance and also continue running and training for the next race. Some of the things that I particularly love about it this year over last year is that they've added more of that FF Turbo foam in here and they've kind of changed the way that the rocker behaves. So it's a very late rocker, so it doesn't curl up until the way end. And what that does combined with a very high plate position for the carbon fiber plate is it gives me more foam to kind of land on in the forefoot. And I'm more of a midfoot, forefoot striker. So it gives me a giant landing pad because they made this landing area wider. And there's a lot of foam to stomp on for every single stride. So it's a midfoot and forefoot striker's dream. And I love the way that they've changed it and set it up. And again, talking about that high plate position, I'm learning that plate position makes a really big difference in terms of how you're experiencing the foam and not just the way that you're experiencing the carbon itself. And so there's a Metaspeed Edge Plus that is kind of a sibling shoe to the Metaspeed Sky Plus, And that has a different kind of plate angle. And what that does is the Edge Plus has more of a firmer sensation because that plate position ends up being really low in the forefoot, it gives a lot of stability and it gives with a really quick turnover, but you don't get as much of like that foamy, squishy, bouncy sensation in the foam. The high plate position, it stays relatively kind of like parallel with the foot and close to the foot most of the time. 
that high plate position lets you really experience all this foam that's in the MetaSpeed Sky Plus, and I think that's all for the better because I love this foam and I love racing with it. It's not really an easy day shoe. It's not a one shoe that can do it all kind of shoe. That's not what this is intended to be, but instead it's a very race specific single use type of shoe. But that's not to say you can only race in it. I've also been using it, of course, as a workout shoe, as I've been getting ready for these races. And the paces that I really enjoy running with the MetaSpeed Sky Plus are when I'm at marathon effort and especially when I'm at threshold effort. Those two are the kind of like the main two kind of paces or gears that I tend to be in when I'm either half marathon or marathon training. And this shoe is extremely well suited for those speeds and efforts because I think just the way that the foam kind of like compresses and rebounds, like the speed of that, the amount of that compression and rebound, I feel like works really well with my foot strike landing a little bit more towards the forefoot uh, than towards the heel. So it feels like I'm really getting a nice pop. It's also a very sensitive shoe for me. So in the sense that uh, when my foot is landing kind of improperly or my foot strike is getting a little bit sloppy, maybe I'm getting a little bit tired later in the workout or later in the race, the shoe kind of like lets me know that. Not in a, a bad way, I'm not getting penalized for it, but I can definitely tell a difference when I'm kind of like, all right, let's line everything up with better mechanics. Not that I have perfect form, but if I try to improve on that and keep focused on running with efficiency, the shoe definitely lets you kind of have that positive of reinforcement feeling to it and it's a really nice sensation to have especially deep into the race because it feels like the shoe is really helping you out so that's how I've been using the shoe as a race shoe, as a workout shoe. For those days where I'm gonna be running the fastest, the farthest, and the hardest, this is the shoe that I really want to reach for. Now let's talk about what the shoe has been holding up like. First, let's take a look at this outsole, and I'm absolutely amazed. It's impossible to tell that this shoe has 100 miles on it, especially for a race shoe where you're not really looking at durability or longevity, you're really just trying to get across the finish line as fast as possible, and performance is the premium and durability usually falls to the wayside. But here, I can hardly tell in my highest typical wear areas, here on the side of the heel and right in the pad of the foot where my foot tends to land, I'm seeing almost no wear at all. So I feel like the rubber is doing a fantastic job. It's also been extremely grippy for me as well. So I haven't had any issues with slipping with the shoe. So the outsole is definitely performing to spec and beyond expect. Expectations. As even the midsole foam that's here, there is slight discoloration that's happening, but I've been running on softer surfaces a lot ever since I moved out to the suburbs. And sometimes that means I'm running on rocks or gravel or hard packed limestone, uh, but I'm still not seeing that the exposed foam is even getting all that chewed up either. So the shoe overall is holding up really well. And I'm amazed that this shoe's already at hundred miles. I kind of caught me by surprise. I knew I'd been running in this shoe for a while, but I still really thought I had a lot more to go before I got to the 100 mile mark, at least based on the way my foot was feeling inside the shoe. Because the foam is also holding up really well. So it's not just a cosmetic appearance of durability, I'm actually getting some really good durability here too. It doesn't feel like I've got 100 miles on this shoe. It certainly feels like I still got a lot of life left in this. I think that I could easily take this at 100 miles and line up to another marathon race without any concerns that I have an inferior or a degraded product on my feet. I'd feel very comfortable racing with it at 100 miles. I'd probably feel comfortable racing with it up to 150 miles. Now, there is a lot of visual creasing that's happening in this shoe. And I know I've seen that a lot in prior iterations of MetaSpeed series shoes with the FF Turbo Foam, but it seems like there is kind of a lot that's happening, a lot of large creases that are showing up in this shoe. So that is a little bit concerning, but at least in terms of what I'm feeling underfoot, I don't feel like this is gonna be a problem for this shoe at all. I feel like the shoe is gonna be able to hold up really well and give you at least what you're expecting in 2022, 2023 from a marathon racing super shoe. As far as the upper goes, it is holding up exceptionally well. No areas of wear or any concern. And overall, the upper is racing fit snug, but very comfortable. I will say as one kind of other down mark for it is that the MetaSpeed Sky Series has always been a little bit kind of aggressive in terms of the curl over from the toes, like kind of shoots over a little bit aggressively. That's still happening in the MetaSpeed Sky Plus, but I will say of the MetaSpeed series that I've run in, this one is the most generous in terms of giving that pinky toe a little bit of room to breathe. I still feel like, you know, that pinky toe is getting crushed and I certainly felt it a little bit today, but 
It's a racing shoe. You're not in there to be comfort. You want to be strapped in, snugged in tight uh, and get ready to rip. So overall, I think this is such a good super shoe, certainly worthy of the title and being in the category of super shoe. It's treated me exceptionally well in terms of successful racing that I've been able to do in this. And I also feel like my hardest workouts where I've reached for it, it hasn't let me down. I think it really is a midfoot and forefoot striker's dream. Those are the types of runners that are going to really love this shoe the most. And for people People that are looking to run their marathons quickly, this is a shoe that I highly will recommend. It is going to be my favorite super shoe of the year and probably for some sentimental reasons because I finally was able to break three in this shoe, it's probably going to be one of my favorite super shoes ever. So those are my thoughts on the Metaspeed Sky Plus after 100 miles. If you have any other questions, feel free to put them in the comments down below or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?